Hello, foodie beauties. <laughs> Waking up to this view, oh my gosh. Julia loves it too. <laughs> Julia, are you sleeping with the owl? Sweet angel. Hello, welcome to a accountability vlog. Um, this is your host, Foodie Beauty. <laughs> so um, I thought that I would talk about what I'm doing now since my kind of irrational plan failed, the water fast. Um, you know, I know a lot of people are laughing at me about it and saying, I told you, blah, blah, blah. I don't, I'll never understand why anyone in any community gets a kick out of berating people who are struggling with eating problems and their weight issues, especially when a lot of them have issues themselves. But that's besides the point. I'm not going to focus on the negativity, I'm just going to keep going and try something else. So um, I think that the way I was going before I had the idea to do the water fast, which by the way I did try it and I did say in my vlog that if I felt that, you know, um, I felt it medically necessary to stop, which I just at the time was really sick, so I thought that it would be a good idea to stop and continue what I'm doing first and maybe down the line when I'm more adapted to having more willpower discipline and more control over my issues with food then maybe in the future I can try something like that that was very drastic and I know that's you know one of my downfalls is I'm very um I like extremes and I don't have a lot of patience so I realize I just have to be patient and um follow through with this and then we can move on to the next step if necessary. So um, first things first, I will post my way in here. So as you can see, I still did lose weight. Like I said in my mukbang video i think it was just like excess water excess waste coming out from yesterday but i did fast from morning until well from the previous night until late i don't know like maybe 1 a.m 1 or 2 a.m so i did fast for like a full pretty much 24 hours but i did eat a lot the night before i started the fast um so yeah but I still did that, so I think that contributed to it. But I also didn't overeat when I did eat. Um, so they weren't the healthiest choices, but I think calorie-wise, it was still less than what I'm normally used to eating when I like just go ham. So, um, so I'm gonna show you what I ate full day of eating today. And uh, you know, I just keep in mind I'm this is how I'm choosing to um tackle things right now. This is my kind of diet plan um whatever works for you know there's so many different ways so whatever works for you works for you you know so i'm gonna try this and see and uh, for me it seems the most realistic right now because it's not so drastic actually and um which is why i never understood i don't know i still don't know why i thought something drastic would work i thought i could do it you know um, I thought I would try you know people think I was trolling or lying or whatever about the water fast, but You know just because I decided to Try something at the time. I really had my mindset on it and then I just realized I couldn't do it So that's just really how it went down. So, um, yeah, I lost a little bit of weight. I think like a kilo maybe um, I hope it will keep going <laughs> You know, that's pretty good for one day. I think it is just water weight. But everyone who starts a weight loss journey always first starts with water weight, right? That's the first thing to come off. So at least it's something. Um, I was going to go to the gym today, but um, my back is actually really bad. I know it sounds like an excuse, but it's not fully better. And I think um, I just, 
I went to bed like all afternoon. I just slept. I was really tired and just like mentally exhausted with everything, with trying all these changes, with dealing with the the pushback and just, you know, I guess just trying to heal, still heal from the back problem. So um, I also think that it's smarter to just tackle the food right now. I think like taking on too much at one time is just like really, really difficult. So I think I'm just going to tackle, you know, sticking to the calorie intake right now. So I will show you like these are accountability vlogs, being accountable to myself. And, you know, I share my life with people, so with the public. So that's also I'm just used to doing it. <laughs> so um, I will show you um, what I ate today. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this vlog. Um, further down the line, I will incorporate more exercise. But I think right now, like I said, just focusing on my housework, just tasks that are so difficult for me normally that are just so easy for some like people, like normal people, I guess. I don't know, I, for lack of better term when I say normal. So just like focusing on like properly nourishing myself and getting into it, like reestablishing a healthy relationship with food and also um, just, you know, keeping my home clean with somebody at my weight and who's sedentary, like, you know, vigorous housework is actually pretty big workout, <laughs> you know, like, so I, I want to focus on getting my life in order and then incorporating more things. I don't want to mentally overload myself. And yeah, so... I know not everyone is going to understand that um, whatsoever, and that's fine. You don't have to understand. It still doesn't mean that, like, you have to attack people who are going through a hard time, you know, and kick people while they're down. Um, just in general, you know, I see that a lot around people. And, um... You did your best, baby. Oh, thanks, babe. <laughs> I've missed you twice. Yeah. It was like for one day. Yeah. It was hard and it you know i realized my body's not the same as when i did it like it was four years i did it four years ago my body is just my top it's just my metabolism everything is just different and um you know i wasn't planning on on getting so sick on feeling so sick and just panicky and you know i i really need to just do this the right way so um i know people think that you know going for help with eating disorders and everything like that you know, a lot of treatments are very pricey, but also when I was in Canada, you guys saw, I went to see an eating, dis I went to an eating disorder clinic and, and they're more tailored towards eating disorders like anorexia. A lot of, there's still a lot of stigma surrounding, excuse me, obesity and um, food addiction. They think that just giving you a diet plan, uh, you know, just here, here's a diet plan, exercise, lack of willpower is the problem. So if the actual medical system is tailored that way, even if you want weight loss surgery, if you have issues mentally with food, they don't want to give you the surgery. So it's like you always feel like you're hitting a wall. And yes, part of me doesn't want to go to therapy right now, doesn't want to do these things. So, um, but it's also that, you know, where I am too, it's, it's very costly for therapy, very, very costly. So right now I'm just working on, you know, maybe looking into support groups or maybe just like trying alternative things that are more within budget and also just focusing on the food right now the food is like a really 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 big thing so um that's where it all starts right so i don't know maybe in the future i'll look into like online therapy there's also like online things but um i think right now you know just I, I think it's just the addiction to food it's really hard to deal with and for anybody I mean food is very addictive you know a, lo a lot of foods are meant to be hyper palatable and it's just hard to just stop eating them without food nobody was still alive <laughs> yeah exactly that's the thing you know like I always hear somebody say that like if you're addicted to food it's hard because um if you were if you're an alcoholic it's like you 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 have to be abstinent and you can't be abstinent from food but you can be abstinent from crop food that's triggering for sure yeah i don't know i'm just trying to find my way i mean i've, I've said this diet banter so many times but i'm still trying to find my way you know and i know it's frustrating it is frustrating for me as well um it's very frustrating it's just you you see everybody you know like i know people um in a certain community like to pick on the same 
three women, even though like a lot of people who are doing the critiquing of our lives and diets are very overweight themselves and they hide behind a screen and they don't, they aren't accountable to anything. They don't show themselves. They don't show weigh-ins. They don't show what they're eating. So you know what? I'm going to pat, I'm going to say for Amberlynn and Hungry Fat Chick and myself, I think that um, at least we have the, the, the balls to show ourselves and to show our struggles and to take the criticism because that's more than I can say for a lot of people in this, in a certain community, in the critique community. Um, I'm sorry, but it's true. You know, I know people, um, might dislike, you know, Amberlynn and I, at least for certain reasons, whatever, but you can't deny that, you know, at least we put ourselves out there and show our face and our struggles and that we're not perfect, you know, so, and I'm going to continue to do that. You know, I don't, you know, I, there's no way, there's no way you, you know, people like to call me delusional. Sure. Fine. But so are the people who think that this journey is going to be linear and so easy that there's not going to be any failures. I'll tell you right now, there's probably going to be so many failures, especially at first. There's going to be so many failures. And you know what? I'm ready to take the criticism. And um, yeah, whatever. So anyways, <laughs> um, let's get to what I ate today. I will show you what I ate today. Um, I'll actually just talk about it and show you here like in little video. Um, so for breakfast, I just decided to have some um, and I'll also show you the end every day, the calories I have in my weigh-ins. So I'm going to weigh in every single day and I'm going to show you my calories every single day for accountability. So no, I didn't succeed in the water fast, but at least I'm sticking to something or trying to stick to something alternatively healthy. So for breakfast, as you see, I just had like, I think it was like that big bowl of fruit was for us to share. We still didn't even finish it all. And, um, it was like I measured equivalent of one cup for the calories purposes, but I didn't even eat like one cup. Um, I didn't, I just had the cantaloupe and I had um, one hard boiled egg sliced uh, with some tahini uh, and some potato, like one potato steamed and cut up. So that was the total of what I had there. I'll show you the total calories at the end. Um, and then for lunch, I did my mukbang. I had, I ordered the diet service. I tried another diet service meal and, um, you can watch my mukbang if you want to see what I had. It was basically a turkey and cheddar and lettuce on multi-grain baguette and it had pumpkin parmesan soup. It was really delicious. I almost died on the chunk of pumpkin, but whatever. And, um, I also had mm, Ollie, which is like an Arabic dessert. I had like maybe a half of that, uh, with water. So I, I pretty much only drank water today. And then I had uh, for dinner, um, I'm actually, uh, I had some white rice, uh, a cup of what I measured it. Anyway, um, so we ordered uh, mixed barbecue grill, grilled meats. Um, so I'm going to have, I made a salad as well. I made a salad, as you can see here. I made a salad and I had some of the meat from the mixed barbecue and a cup of rice and some tahini so yeah um tahini and hummus so that's all that i'm going to eat for today um and i'll show you the total calories here <laughs> um the total food diary and calories so every day will be a weigh-in food diary for accountability especially to myself and those you know i'm doing this content for the people who believe in me and also for the people who are trying to do it themselves it's very tough so anyways thanks for watching and um, i will see you guys in the next video okay see you tomorrow